Oh, hey, how's it going? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, memorize the scripture. Memorize the scripture? Oh, I tried that. Doesn't work for me. No, no, hey, hey, it'll work for anybody. You just gotta, you gotta work at it, kind of. Takes a little effort. Yeah, but I can't remember anything. Well, you can't remember anything. Do you know your name? Of course I know my name, yeah. You know where you were born? Yeah. You know uh, the password on your email account? Yeah, I type it all the time. Um, you know the PIN for your bank account? Yeah. Well, it's the same same idea. See, the more you see something or read it or hear it, eventually, you know, it gets in there and you, you remember it. So that's why I do the script. I just kind of read it, read it, and then it becomes natural. And you start remembering it. Oh, I see. But why do you need to memorize scripture? I mean, why put all that time and effort into it? Oh, man, hey, it makes a tremendous difference in your personal life. Yeah, I'm sure everybody, sometime or other, you have a day you're really discouraged, you know, you kind of, things aren't going right, you know. Yeah. Well, hey, if you know the scripture, you can kind of quote them, you know, refresh your memory, and it kind of chases the clouds away. You, you remember the promises. Look, I'll show you something. It's really important. If you know the scripture, this, this is how Jesus, Jesus overcame the devil, you know, in the wilderness when, when he came to tempt him. Look at uh -huh. this, in Matthew chapter 4. Look at that. Then was Jesus led up in the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. It is written! Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Wow, that's really something. Yeah, hey, look over in Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6, look at this. Paul, okay, Paul talks about putting on the whole armor of God. You know, you can think about this stuff, you can understand. Okay, the word of God, the word of God is like the sword of the spirit. You see? Look at this. It says, the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Sharp? Mine's not very sharp or powerful. Let me see that there. My God, man, take your hand off it. You need to shine this thing up. Oh, I haven't been using it. It's more like a club. Look at this here. You've got to, you've got to review. You've got to memorize. You've got to know the word. Be able to quote the scripture. Get it up here in your brain, in your heart, man. Get it inside you like this here. Watch. Like yeah. this here. No, no. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Like this one. Repeat, repeat. Ha! Repeat. You try it. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Like that. Yeah, you need to put more gumps into it, man. Watch. Let me show you one more time. Back up here. Look. Repeat, repeat, ah, repeat, then review, review, review. You've got to review too. Repeat, repeat, repeat. And then review, review, review. Ah. Why do you get in the idea? I don't know. This is working. What? Watch out! Oh. Don't yield to the doubts of the enemy, the fiery darts of the wicked one himself. Watch out, yeah. man! Here, hold up your shield of faith quickly. Look out! Yeah. Oh. Hold up the rest of the word to stop the enemy! I tell you, if you're going to be a warrior for the Lord, boy, if you want to be a mighty warrior for God, you've got to know the scripture. You've got to be able to quote scripture. You've got to be able to fight the devil and cut the devil to the heart. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, casting down imaginations!